Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Mini a True Nerd, and welcome to Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles, a game I'm looking at because it just looks pretty chill. Apparently it's a big, nice, open-worldy, explorey thingy where you can just do what you want and be what you want, and it looks very, very chill indeed. I've just been in the mood for chill games recently. Maybe politics recently around the world's been a bit stressful. Chill games good for me. Also, one thing I really like. In the languages, there's English UK and English US, so I can actually make sure all the words are spelt correctly, which is marvellous. The body shape slider on the character builder is a little bit of a confusing one. I will say, because I'm not really sure how you're sliding, it's like distribution of mass. Because if I take it over to the left, then she gets really bulky, she's suddenly got like really broad shoulders and like muscly pecs and whatever. But if I bring it down here, then she's... that's... wait, hang on, then there's... yeah, so hang on, just as we move it down here, then weight moves to her legs, then it doesn't anymore, then she gets skinnier, but I think actually there's there's a point where her chest shrinks, but then it, it actually goes up again, I think like there's a point there where her boobs get bigger, but then they get small... this is a really odd slider. I'm just gonna go for all left on a fairly large body size, because it looks like she's just basically got massive arms and she can just beat the hell out of anything in her way. Yeah, that'll do. Our dearest child, it broke our hearts when we sent you away, but it was the only way to keep you safe from the darkness that poisoned our land. When the day comes that you seek the truth, trust in the celestial compass to guide you. It will lead you far across the sea, into darkness and into light, but it will always lead you home. Home to Jamea. Oh yes, let's start off with a nice jaunty sea shanty and everything looking a bit wind wakery. That's how to get me interested in a game. And there I am, I'm guessing, with the celestial compass. Beautiful. Oh, yep, and I'm in control. So there we are. Oh, I like this art style. I always like sort of cell shade and whatever, so I'm just on a boat. Let's talk to Jib the Sailor. He's been trying to figure out where the bloody hell we're going and whatever. Oh. This is amazing! I thought Jamea was just a made-up tale. I'm glad I came from the kitchen to see this. <laughs> okay, I like the cheery, happy tone of this game already. Hello, what have you got to say, terrifying, also baby-faced person? Because everyone's kind of terrifying and baby-faced. Love the sailor! Looks like your compass is pointing into that bank of fog. Looks pretty thick. I'd best get up to the bell. But you're not, are you? are just going to stand there. Ooh, nice light. I like the light in the shadows. The light in the shadows is good. Right, nip up here. What do you need us to do exactly, game? Chat to Tack the Sailor, or you seem like the important guy, Captain Pulling. We don't care about Tack. He knows what he did. If that compass of yours is right, Jamea should be just behind that bank of fog. Are you ready to finally see the island? Yeah, sure, why not? That seems good. Let's finally make it home. And I'm going to reply, smiley face. I like how happy this game is. I'm guessing, however, that we're not just going to get home and that's going to be the end of the game. I feel like, potentially, things are about to go horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah, and kind of notice, um, storms, lightning. Yeah, I feel like we're not going to actually get home. I feel like I'm sorry. I've kind of condemned all of you to death, actually. Um, so sorry about that. Yeah, there we are. Fear not, Sprite Seer. You and your friends are safe. I don't think they are. I mean, I might be. I'm the protagonist, but they just got struck by lightning. And honestly, we didn't even bother speaking to Tack, so I'm not sure he's going to be coming back. You will see them again, but first you have a great task ahead of you. I am Airy, once a proud protector of these lands. I have been waiting for you. Please, may I see your compass? Yeah, sure, why not then? Crack open the compass for her. Oh, and it's not just her here, there's also some terrifying, terrifying stone heads too. Beautiful. And that apparently shows me where I'm supposed to go. Alright then, fair enough. As I thought, a celestial compass, use it whenever you're lost, lovely, points me in the right direction. My family can help you, but they themselves are lost. Find them, and they will lead you home. Now, Sprite Seer, awaken. Your journey has only begun. Yeah, as I suspected, I don't think we're seeing Tack again, so trying to get home to the island turns out to have been a terrible idea. Lovely. So anytime I want to get out the compass, and the compass will show me where it is I need to go next. Somewhere round there, apparently. So she recognised the compass my parents left me. She called me Sprite Seer. What is that? In either case, 
This thing seems to know where I actually need to go next. Beautiful. So am I allowed to swim? Apparently not. Apparently my character can't swim, which makes going on that boat an even stupider idea, but never mind. The compass pointed me in the right direction. Hello! I've discovered stone! No, no, no. Honestly, I don't think I discovered that. I feel like someone else discovered that before I did. Like, you know, just because I found a stone here doesn't actually mean I've discovered it there, game. I feel like we're taking credit for something that might have already been there. Ooh, this is nice. Right, I'm going to guess there's something important in this here beam of light. What is that strange blue glow? I don't know. Let's interact with it. It looks like a throne. I shall be the queen of the sea. Oh, no, never mind. I think someone else is already queen of the sea. Hello, Lumi. A human. It's been a long time since I've talked to a human. All of the people who could talk to me have gone away. Please, take me with you. I don't want to be alone anymore. Oh, this got dark fast. Yeah, sure. You can come along. So now I've got myself just a, a Lumi sprite who's going to follow me around. Okay, fine. Right, compass. We still going this direction? Marvellous. Yes, we are. Thank you very much. Right. So off we go through here looking for more stuff. Possibly. Ooh, I've discovered a mushroom. I've also claiming ownership of that. But I've also discovered terrifying blue stuff. Lumi, what have you got to say about this then? The way out is just beyond the murk. It's bad stuff for you humans though. I'll try to get rid of it. I'm not sure if I can do it alone. Ah, okay. Potentially I need to find more Lumis then if I want more murk cleared out of the way. Got it. Phew, that was hard. Wish I had my brothers and sisters to help me out. Right, gather Lumis, get rid of murk. Got it. And out we go into... Oh, blimey, that's pretty. Ooh, that's nice. That's pretty and nice. Okay, I approve already. That's That makes me feel relaxed, damn it. And there's a nice town with a windmill. Ooh, there's a village over there. Let's go check it out. Look, Lumi, I'm one step ahead of you, all right? Chill out. So, I've cleared one Merc. There's seven more to go beyond that, however. I've also got myself a little map of all the stuff I've already done. Beautiful. And I'm not just here to relax, damn it. I've already got my eyes on bigger things. Because, yeah, if I can just help out this whole area a bit more, then I can get more animal sightings, more harvest bonuses, and more farm production speed. All right? So screw Whimsical Adventure. I'm implementing feudalism as soon as possible. Oh my goodness, if I drop off a thing, I've got an umbrella. I've got an umbrella. Okay, never mind. Sorry, we're doing that again. It's too adorable not to do again. Yeah, I just drop off any high thing and there's no full damage because I'm holding an umbrella. Because obviously I am. Oh, and there. And it's a nice multicolored rainbow umbrella. I approve of literally every design decision that's been made here. Also, oh, there's a cow. Adorable cow. Ador I bet that's not going to be a hostile cow. I bet it's going to be an adorable cow. Actually, it might be a hostile cow. Hello! Do you want to be friends? Because I'm going to assume everything here. Oh, you're an adorable stag! I've actually discovered a gruffle. Hello! Oh my goodness, you're basically just a gruffalo on four legs and with antlers. No, stop. No. Stop turning. Excuse me. He just, I think they might just be shy. He just doesn't want to get in front of me. I think he's just running away. Oh, I don't want to scare it. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Right, let's go over to... Where'd the village go? Oh, he's over here somewhere. Go find that. Day is cracking on. I'm going to discover a flower now. Yeah, I'm the first person to ever find... Ooh, Celium. I would have just said blue, damn it. Hello. Everyone wants to chat. Hello, you're Master Low then. Hello, traveller. You look like you've been through some hard times. Honestly, no. It's been delightfully whimsical so far. I mean, okay, not if you sail attack, but no one liked that guy. Also, I kind of noticed that, like, Eternal Night seems to be coming on. Like, it was really much more pleasant, like, five seconds ago. Now it's actually got slightly sinister. And apparently he's offering me warm food and a soft bed. Beautiful. The townsfolk warmly welcome you. I like this game. Also, they gave me a cake and a hug. Ever since that terrible accident years ago, Merc has been popping up all over the place making life Aww. difficult. But the people here are friendly and we love to share what we know. Ask around, you'll soon have all the skills you need to make your way in this world. I have new clothes. Oh my goodness, they actually gave me a new wardrobe as well. Right, time to speak to some people, learn some skills. Oh my goodness, they're so keen to help me, they're actually waving me over. Hello, teach me an important skill, Merrick. The storm that capsized your boat also destroyed the East Dogs. That's a big problem. This is a trade guild, you see. Without the East Dogs bringing goods, we're not in any position to help you out. Take this mallet, gather some stone for Marina. Eight stone should be plenty to prop the East Dogs back mm. up. You'll find stone around the grassland near cliffs. Once you've got enough, deliver them back to Marina on the beach. Okay, fine. So I've now got a mallet 
I need to go and find myself. This is the loveliest gay. And you, I'm guessing, are traders of some description. Hello. Right, so barter system, stuff I've got, stuff they've got. Fine, let's not buy anything for now. It seems like people are just giving me free stuff anyway. Hugh, meanwhile, wants a vine and some sticks, and he'll share some trade secrets with me. Okay. And finally, Minnie. Uh, need of a roof over your head. You're in luck. The old farm in the south field was abandoned when the murk appeared. If you can clear the murk, you're welcome to the farm. Love to see the old place patched up and run again. Right, I just basically get free property. Beautiful. Meanwhile, some wood and some sticks is enough to fix up the farm if I can clear out the murk. Lovely. Go through the tunnel in order to find that. Where's the tunnel? There'll be a tunnel to the... Let's say to the south. Tunnel to the south. Ah, okay, fine. So somewhere around here-ish. Fine. Uh, okay. So, got to go get myself some stone and whatever. Are you... You're not stone, you're just a bloke out in the middle of nowhere. Let's go grab some stones. Uh, they said the stone was close by too. Yeah, they said that was close by too. That's a vine. Good. And there's some sticks. But I'm going to need loads of wood. I'm going to need loads of wood. But I'm going to be needing my... Ah! My axe. Now, can I chop? Yes, I feel like I can chop. Chop the hell out of that tree. Hope no one was using that for anything. And that gets me lots of wood and whatever. Continue chopping. Screw everything. There we go. Even more. I even get myself some seeds for that. Right. Good. Now, any chance can I go over to a mallet smash boulders? Right. Okay. I've got a mallet. That's... Apparently, that's not a boulder. Right. What's a boulder and what isn't? Are there any of these boulders? And a fourth person over here by long grass. I'm guessing you're going to give me by any uh. chance... Take a sickle! Right, cut the long grass, create fodder. Marvellous. Well, that's nice. Everyone's just giving me free tools. Lovely, lovely free tools. So, cut, cut, cut. There we are. Who needs Legend of Flippin' Zelda? I've got all the grass cutting I need right here. That long grass didn't stand a chance. You're not as wimpy as I thought. Like I said, having big muscles is important. It's important to have a big brain like me too. That way you can get other people to cut your fodder for you. Oh, you clever bastard. Quest complete! Grass needs cutting! And the sun is coming up too. Good. Now, they said there'd be plenty of stone close by to cliffs. And there's cliffs around here. And there's cliffs... That looks like that might be a boulder. Let's just go and check out... Yeah, that looks like a boulder. That's gotta be... There's a boulder. That's a boulder too. Yeah, that's gotta be a boulder. That's a bouldery shaped thing. Right, go over to... Mallet. Yeah, smash. Smash. Smash! Good. That's gonna get me all sorts of flipping stuff. That's going to be... Don't worry. I wouldn't smash you. You're too adorable. Uh, potentially this is also smashable. This massive thing. Is that also a fox? An adorable, adorable fox. I think that's an adorable, adorable fox. I've discovered a grass fox. But I can't knock this down. Hello. Oh my god, you're absolutely adorable. You're some form of, like, fox-friendly raccoon dog cat thing. Oh my god, you're beautiful. Right, just go over here. I think that is actually a boulder I can smash the hell out of. I need more. Oh. No, no, it isn't. Fine. I do ever need a tree. Back over to the axe here. Back over to the axe. Let's just chop down this here tree. Gonna need a bit more wood yet. Lovely. Chop. 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 Lovely. Continue chopping. Not done with chopping yet. There we go. That's enough wood and enough sticks. But I need a second... Ooh, but... I could actually... I can plant a new tree to replace the tree I've just chopped down. I'm actually being, like, properly responsible in terms of the ecosystem. I approve of this. Also, I just found a nice beach. So, I can choose what I need to do here. I can seek help, repair the farm, making a bundle, get the docks. Okay, get the docks. I know I've got the wood for that already. So let's set that as my active. Need a bit more stone for that, but looks like there's actually some stone right here. Yep. That is all the stone I need. Now, just head in this direction. This is into town. Just find the back. Hand the stone over to Marina, where we will actually, like, you know, presumably build a marina. So that's nice. Also, I think I've got what I need for Hugh as well. As well as making trade deals, you can craft items to trade. Crafted items generally trade for a higher price than the base oh. item. Unsurprising. So I can use, ah, vine and sticks to create a bundle of sticks. Lovely. 
quest complete, making a bundle. Ah, uh, good. So, that's a quest. Few more to do yet, though. Get the compass back out here. And, oh, it's already down on the thing already. Fine. So, I need to go over here. Yeah, the little mini-map's telling me the right direction to go. So, I need to deliver the stone to Marina somewhere over here. Here we go. A beach. That makes sense. Let's get the trading up and going again. If you guys are a trading port, probably a good idea. You've actually got some trading to do here. Hello there, Marina. Let's build a new Marina. You've got everything I need to finish up. Sure beats me trying to piece this back together with driftwood and crab shells. I'll be done in a jiffy and trade will start coming through to Fairmont once again. East docks are open. And there it goes. A lovely, lovely little trade settlement down on the beach. Very, very good indeed. And everyone is happy as well. Everybody's happy. There's a nice thing here. There's a mysterious... Oh, wait, hang on. Sparkly blue, sparkly blue, sparkly... No, no, I need to... I think I'm about to die. Yeah, I can't swim, unfortunately. Right, get back out there. This time, don't fall in the water. So I literally can't swim. Okay, interact. And I've got myself lock. Beautiful. So now I've got two of... No, don't fall in the water. So that means I've now got one of you. So, with all of that wood and all of those sticks, I think I've now got what I need to repair the farm. And actually, I've done everything else. Any chance I can just open this chest? Black rimmed glasses. Sure, let's look fabulous while I'm doing this as well. There we are. Now I'm an adventurer and a hipster. And thanks to the fact that I've now got the two sprites, I now know that, uh, yeah, I'll be able to clear out the merc once we're actually done. There may be some monsters. Actually, you know what? There probably won't be monsters. Right. Need something to smash this all open with. Interact. There we are. Got some bundles of sticks. Let's just steal someone else's stuff. Good. Stolen. Something over here, though. Just a random sailor. Oh, never mind. As it turns out, yeah, literally everyone survived. Because death and sadness don't exist in this universe. More games should be like that. I like that on occasion. Hello, Captain. So you're alive, then. In fact, you know what? That's not even surprising to everyone. It's not like, oh, my God, I can't believe you survived and so did I. It's just like, oh, heard you wanted into Fairmont. Well done. So he wants me to find the rest of the crew. I may or may not bother. Oh my goodness, it's night, so these guys go to sleep. Until you disturb them. They're actually asleep. They just snuggle down to sleep. Okay, they're the most adorable things imaginable. Right, let's clear the merc. Now, is there going to be any fighting? Because this doesn't really feel like the sort of game where there is fighting. To be perfectly honest, this just feels like the sort of game where, you know, everything's just lovely. And where these guys will sort everything out for me. So, clear the merc, please. Yep, because I just need to use sprites. So I've got two sprites. So you two, just clear the merc, please. Good, you've done that. Thanks. No monsters or anything. Okay, apparently this guy was going to give me part of this quest or something. Or maybe he already did. Maybe this guy's just come up to say hello. Hello there. Hey there, I'm Bushel. Ah, Minnie sent me out to help you. Fine, good. Dab had repairs. Good, here's some wood swords out for me. And I've got a farm. Nice. And this is just going to be my farm, right? That was the deal, yeah? Congratulations, you have your very own farm. There are lots of things you can do with a farm. Here, I'll give you some farm items. Let's start by placing a large animal pen. Oh, I want the, the groff, whatever those things are. The little gruffalos, the ones with the antlers. I want those, all right? Damn it, I want several of them. And obviously, there's a new guy up here. Beautiful. So, got myself Grumble and new sprites. And yeah, I've got myself... Actually, yeah, I don't really have, like, a, a house yet. I've just got a, a little building here. And I think there is a little house. I just can't actually go into it. Farm cleanliness is good, though. That's nice. Animal care, not so much yet. So, go over to the big book of farming. Interact with that. And now what I need to do is... Uh, I need to build something. Here, I want to build a big animal pen. Big animal pen... Right here. Hopefully I can afford this. Yeah, can I can I do that? Yeah, okay, fine. Apparently I can. Well done. Now you've placed a large animal pen, you can begin to adopt large animals. Not capture anything. Adopt. <sighs> Groffles are the best. I agree. Let's go get some. Besides being big and fluffy, if domesticated, they'll produce groffle milk for us. I like this game. So Groffles favourite food is psyllium seeds. Find psyllium seeds and the groffles will follow me. Right, where am I going to get psyllium seeds? New recipe, psyllium seeds. Okay, so he's given me the recipe. 
and I need one stone and one celium flower. Okay, well, I've already got two celium flowers and I've got a stone. So craft that, please. Lovely. And now I just need... Well, actually, I've got one of these guys right here. I've got one guy right here. Okay, there's a celium flower right here. That's fine. Let's just grab that. And then I just need a little bit more rock. Yeah, the celium stuff all over the place here. That's fine. So just keep grabbing these. Right, loads of rock off that boulder. Good. Now, Groffles, you're going to come and live with... all there's some closer ones right there. Beautiful. Right, you Groffles, you're coming over there. So I need to bring a cared-for Groffle to the farm. Well, I've got one of those. Hello. That's right. Can you smell the seed? Is that what's going on here? There we go. So now I've got that on me. He's not actually running away anymore. So I'm going to give him the psyllium seed. Now he loves me. And now he's going to follow me back to the farm. That's right. Now don't get too far ahead. Make sure he makes it through the gate. That's right. Through here. And I've got a new house for you. I do wish to adopt the Groffel. You have no idea how much. Well, that's a fluffy Groffel. And those are the best kind. I love hugging them so much. We can now make Groffel milk. So check in from time to time. Collect the goods we're producing. I'll be here to look after any animals you adopt. Really? Wow, not only do I get a free farm, I get a free surf to work as my slave on it. This is just a better and better deal. It's a good idea to put in some food and water to keep it happy. Don't forget, if you want to build your farm more, you'll need the help of a carpenter. Befriend a Groffle, quest complete! This is the best game. Right, let's give these guys some stuff here. So, uh, yeah, a fodder trough. I've got loads of uh, fodder as well. I made some earlier. So, look, good, good, good. There's just going to be some nice fodder right here. Is this, is this fine? Right about here? Yeah, place that. Beautiful. Next up, we're going to need some water as well. A nice water trough for all of my groffles. So that goes right there. Nice. So now we've got food and water. And now the farm is doing well. Except there's a problem. I don't own enough groffles yet. Ah, except maybe I do because I'm not allowed to actually build another large pen yet. Okay, fine. You know what? We're going to build a small pen to go next to the large pen. Right here, alright? It's going to be lovely. So right here, place that there. Now, does anyone know what I can actually do with that? Oh, it's got a little thing on. Do I get to name the Groffle? No, tragically not, unfortunately. It would appear I cannot name the Groffle. But I can instead care for the Groffle. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Now the Groffle loves me. Excellent. Or I can go on a journey with the gr Please tell me I can ride the Groffle. Can I ride the Groffle? Would you like to take the Groffle on your journeys? Yes. You have no idea how much. Is he just going to come with me? I just got a Groffle to follow me round. This is the best thing. Here we are, me and my Groffle having a lovely walk at night on the beach. Now, we've saved the farm. Let's go speak to Master Low and he might tell me a bit more about, like, you know, the point of the game. Unless, of course, the point of the game is just being bloody adorable and nice and simple and relaxing. In which case, I'm fine with that too. Well done. I hope you're feeling a bit more settled now. Come in and have a sleep. Tomorrow you should explore more of Jamea. Maybe you'll even find your missing shipmates. Ah, and the spirit sprite's back. We meet again. Oh, I brought my Groffle to meet God. I'm so happy about that decision. It's literally followed me into my spirit dreams. Like when you say the Groffle should follow you on adventures, that Groffle is dedicated. God herself has come up to say hello and the Groffle's still there. So I could go and find my missing crew or I could just say screw it, let's go search for my own origins because screw the crew, I never liked them anyway. Yeah, let's just do that instead, lovely. So apparently it's in this direction. Head over here, go and find out about my own mysterious origins. And don't forget to just grab a few bits and pieces, though I think overnight... My Groffle returns to my farm, which is understandable. That's perfectly fair. Someone should go back there, because, yeah, we've got that um, Groffle milk now. And once I get Groffle milk, I can combine Groffle milk with coal to create a mug of warm milk. You feel sleepy just looking at it. This is the best game. So, run past a bunch of Groffles. That's fine. I've already got a Groffle at my farm, so my farm's doing just great. And I need to get up. Top of that cliff. 
Okay, to get to the top of that cliff, looks like there might be a way out. There'll be a way through here at least. Yep, this will do as a starting point. Oh, but if I want to get this way, I'm going to need some... How many are going to need? Let's find out. Uh, I'm going to need three out of three. Spot on, because I cleared the farm. I've got the third, because they're not used up. So that has now been got rid of. And I just need more and more sprites in order to clear more and more murk. Beautiful. That's another Merc cleared. Five more in this grassland area. Hello! What adorable quest would you like me to do for you? I don't have much to offer. Please just take my spare pickaxe. I don't want anything in return. I'm just lovely and this universe is adorable. No payment required. I've just got a pickaxe now. Just because I do. That means I can now just mine like crazy. And I've got some lead ore. And also some iron ore. No, really, I mean it. No paint required. Hit rocks and prosper. Quest complete. Rock on. This game deserves a special award for adorableness. And now straight over here, and the compass has told me that something important is going on in this part of the world. Hello? Well, there's a big, large amount of murk over there. Fine. So that's where your compass is pointing. I remember that place. Bad things happened there. The sky was torn up and the murk started to appear. It was awful. That's why none of us sprite folk can go home. That's fine, don't worry, I'm sure we'll get you home or something. Maybe we should go there, see if there's anything we can do. I remember a village nearby that gave ferry rides to the island. We could visit them. Quest complete! Searching for the origin! <laughs> Oh, nice. And apparently we're no longer in the grasslands. We've now moved over to a new area, the Sunderwind Wilds. There was loads of murk and quests and whatever actually over in the grasslands. I just said, screw it, I can't be bothered. I'm just going to move on. So, yeah, we've got... Ah, yes, I see. So, basically, through that pass uh, is the grassland. But then we came through here. And as a result, we came into this area instead. But, ooh... Because I've done little bits of quests for the grasslands, yeah, animals are now being more commonly sighted. The harvests now get a bonus, and farm production speed would go up further if I helped more. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. So that's... What does that mean? Okay, so 38% of Merc has been cleared. 60% of people are happy. 53% of all potential quests have been fulfilled. And 70% of spots that have trees have trees. I guess? I don't know. Hello! There's houses over here. You probably just want to give me free stuff and then a reassuring hug or something like that. It's just a little trading outpost. You've discovered Springmore, which even has an adorable, adorable name. Right, you're a trader. I know about you. What's your deal? You're new. Welcome to the lumber yard. We'll make a plank for ten wood. Okay, very, very nice indeed. So bring these guys wood. They'll turn into planks for me. So you can't always do all the crafting yourself. But I'll tell you what, I'll actually... With this, let's see if I can just get ten wood right now. Lovely. Continue chopping. Continue chopping. That's right. Let's just see if I can just get myself a plank immediately. Because why not, eh? Because it's probably a quest. You know, bring some wood and make a plank. And then I get a hug afterwards. How many planks would I like to create? You know what? Let's have two planks. Why the hell not, eh? There we are. I've discovered a plank. I'm also going to plant some seeds so that new trees grow here in time. And then we just head down the road over towards the lovely village with the lovely lit up sign here. There'll probably be a person here who just wants to give me a glass of warm milk and wish me well. Hmm. Let's just check. I'm Kari, the expertiest of all the animal experts in Jamea. I travel around learning as much as I can about animals. Maybe you'll see me in your travels. If you do, say hi. I'll be happy to share what I've learnt. Yep, pretty much. She's just like, hello, I'm lovely. Let's be friends. I'm going to give you useful information if you see me again. Spot on. And we have made it, by the looks of things, to a brand new village, Wimblewick, which is all beautifully lit up in glowy, glowy blue. Very, very nice indeed. Now, I could go and speak with Rex to find help to get me over to the nasty bit. Sure, looks like he's down here, down by the docks. Let's just speak to him. Probably he wants some help with the village first. Hello there. What do you want? I'm sorry the ferry isn't running right now. I was crossing the channel. I noticed my boots were wet. I nearly sunk. Sorry, but unless the Carpenter's Guild gets the ferry repaired, I can't help out. Okay. Need the Carpenter's Guild to help out the ferry. Um, 
The camp's good. That wasn't the, the wood place. That was just a lumber yard. So I would need uh, to join the carpenter's guild. Okay. Right. Who looks like a carpenter? You look like a mage. So possibly not. You could theoretically be a carpenter. Here we go. You're talking about the carpenter's guild. Lovely. They're crafted at Conk's Lumpyard. Good. I've already got two planks. If I need planks to buy my way in, I am in clover for planks. Uh. Run a bundle of 18 wood up there, tell them Vincent sent ya. Beautiful. And now it's a new day, and this game's bloody gorgeous. Fine, it's simple. It's simple, but it's clean, and it's colourful, and it's got a delightful score, and it knows what it wants to be, and it just does it without getting overcomplicated or bogged down. Like, in some ways, like, it reminds me of, like, almost like a Ubisoft game. Like, you know, the Ubisoft big open-worldy crafty explorer things. Except stripped down to its bare bones and just made a lot more charming, a lot less complicated, a lot less cluttered. It's nice, it's refreshing. So, come here and tell this guy that Vincent sent me. So you've joined the Carpenters Guild, have you? Apparently I have, marvellous. Uh -huh. There's some statues over here, some statues of the adorable animals that actually live in this area. It's statues of two adorable fox things kissing, because of course it is. And there's one nuzzling a cub, and there's one just looking majestic and elegant, and there's a real one. Hello, I want to be your friend too. Except actually no, this isn't one of the foxes, this is apparently a cute little beaver. But I can give it a bit of wood and it's a squamble. And now the squamble loves me. There we are, the squamble. You're coming with me now, me and you. We're now friends, all right? So me and the squamble are just going to be friends. Marvellous. So I've joined the Carpenter's Guild and I've got a load of planks. So I'm hoping, therefore, now and just go down to the nice boatman and give him the planks and everyone will be happy and everything will be lovely. Not quite yet. First, I need to speak to Angatha Woodgrain in town, leader of the Carpenter's Guild. Right, normally I would axe you to join... She's making puns as well. We're in a bit of a pickle at the moment. Okay, fine, yep, let's join the damn guilds. For my would-be carpenter. Okay, Agatha, that, that's enough now, thank you. And I'm going to need one nail and two planks. Okay, the planks I've got sorted out. Also, suddenly everything got really sinister. Could, could we go back to the light fluffy tone? Because it's got really spooky all of a sudden. Right, where am I going to get nails? Talk to the traders. I might be able to trade for a nail. Fine. In fact, I think there's a trader right here. Yeah, trade. I'm just going to need one nail. Okay, so a nail requires only... I only need one of them, thank you. So, one nail, and in order to trade for that nail, I'm going to need to trade away something that's worth, like, two. So what am I carrying around that's worth two? Well, I've got two bits of fodder right now. So just toggle to one, then to two, and then that should be an acceptable trade. Yep, equivalent value is fine. Beautiful. Trade mine for theirs. I have now got the nail. And finally, I've also got 12 planks. Better and better. Right, so I've got spare planks if need be. Got everything I need. Beautiful. Let's fix the boat. Oh no, I need to fix the boat. Excellent. Possibly I didn't actually need to do that thing with uh, the planks or whatever. Ooh, and that has given me new recipes uh, that I can actually do back on my farm. Nice. And under the guidance of Agatha Woodgrain, you patch up the ferry. Thanks for the help, traveller. I'll ferry you across the channel whenever you like. Just be careful not to get too close to the Cursed Kingdom over there. Bad place, that. Find help at the village complete. And the ferry's working too. And here we are on the terrifying Cursed Island. And my next objective is to have a chat with um, God again. So we'll just go and we'll have a quick chat with God. Uh, I'm going to guess it's going to take quite a few sprites to take care of that. Also, is that a person over there? You're standing in a slightly spooky location. Help myself to some new plants there. Hello. What are you doing over here on the cursed? Oh, it's you again. It's the animal person. Got anything useful to say to me? Fenicorns have the ability to keep a beat. What's a fenicorn and where do I find them? Because those sound adorable. Ooh, hello. I've discovered the animal. <gasps> oh my goodness, you are adorable. You're absolutely flipping adorable. You're just a little unicorn pony thing. All right, fine. Well, there's clearly a sprite over here. I swear I just saw the blue flashiness there. 
Right, oh, actually, you might have a quest for me before you're willing to come aboard, right? Radiant Sand Shrine. Sunglasses, zero out of three. You literally want me to bring you three sets of sunglasses before you'll join. Alright, fair enough. It's a bit curiously specific, but fine, okay. And I'm going to assume that at this point, I no longer can actually crack open the Merc. Because the Merc's going to take... Four. Okay, so I'm just three sunglasses away from being able to crack open that Merc. Whatever exactly that opens up. Maybe some sort of, like, seaside cave. I don't know. And through we go into, ooh, Radiant Sands and a big old temple. Right, what have you got for me today? What's the story here, God? Greeting Sprites here. Your path has led you to the Cloud Catcher. Also, I'm um, just from the background noise. I suspect I may be being followed by an increasingly large amount of groffles. That's, that's quite a large amount of groffling going on in the background. So, um, I may have actually made the groffles love me a bit too much. Sorry about that, God. I didn't actually mean to bring, like, all the groffles with me to the meeting. But, you know, it's, it's hard to get a groffle babysitter at short notice. Now, what's the cloud catcher? Because that's in the title, so it's presumably important. Once a towering achievement between people and sprite folk. Oh, thank goodness the groffles have shut up. It now holds open a wound across our worlds. This wound, which stands between you and the answers you seek, is the source of the murk. Search the desert, young sprite seer. Find the old man whom time forgot. He shall be your guide and light the path that must be tread. Farewell, sprite seer. You still have far to go. Travel to the old kingdom complete and bring Groffles with me too. Beautiful. And here we are in the old kingdom. And we have actually been introduced to the cloud catcher of the title. It's this thing. And unfortunately, it seems to have gone a bit wrong. Unfortunately, it used to do like, you know, good stuff. But now instead it does bad stuff and it's kind of causing the murk. So that's a shame. We're going to need to fix that at some point, I'm assuming. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. This here is Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. And it's just charming. It's just charming and lovely. It's, you know, it's simple. It's not going to change the world. But if you just want a nice, simple, relaxing adventure where you just go around, you do little quests and everyone's lovely. It's not like, you know, dark or edgy or anything stupid like that. It's just, oh my goodness, what are you? I've discovered a sandy paw. And I've just found a cat and there's seven more to go. There's, there's cat collection, there's small little round fat cats, and you collect them, and that's just a quest, and then they live in a cardboard box, and they go meow when you pick them up, and I think that just sums up this entire flipping game. It's just charming and lovely. It's not going to be for everyone. Some people will probably be completely put off by the tone, or whatever, but I look at it and think it's, it's lovely and refreshing, and it's just a charming thing to play. And here's just some buried treasure. I've got some shampoo. I've got some shampoo out of a box, so now I could dye my hair green if I wanted to basically, you know, together with my glasses, completely commit to the hipster thing. That's presumably just a thing I can do now. So, link in the description below. I think for the right person, this could be a really, really charming thing, even if it's not necessarily going to be for everyone. I know it's not going to be for everyone, but I'd say for some of you, this will be a really, really charming little game. And you know what? I've just really enjoyed playing a couple of relaxing games this week. So maybe we will get a couple more relaxing games. I'll be on the lookout for them. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Yonder, the Cloudcatcher Chronicles. Thank you very much and goodbye. Okay, guys, I need you out of the way so I can fish. Sorry. I just really, really need fishing, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Emotions are forbidden, all right? Oh, my goodness, I get to ride a moose. Screw you, you don't get a moose. Oh, I've got an arm. Oh, my goodness, yes. Who's got the giant buzzsaw arm now, you bastard? <laughs>